All right, so uh, trying to actually get uh, into the standard form of the equation of an ellipse. Okay, so uh, if you remember from the second video, okay, A was your semi major axis, okay, and B was your uh, semi minor axis. Now, if you notice that this video, okay, has a ellipse, right, in our example that is vertical, right, this is like a vertical ellipse. Uh, the other one that we were working with was uh, you know, it was a ellipse, you know, a horizontal ellipse, okay? So it does, there is a little bit of changes here, right? Your minor axis and your major axis actually switch, okay? Uh, which means that A and B actually switch, okay? So I need to say that uh, before we get into it, so don't get confused uh, when you see that the A is flipped with B, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and write the uh, standard form of the equation, okay? And again, in this particular example, since it's ver my uh, major axis is vertical, A and B will flip, okay? Um, so we've got X, okay, minus H squared. Uh, I'm putting B squared here now, okay? Uh, y minus K squared all over A squared, and that equals 1, okay? That's the equation. That's the standard form of the equation. Now we just need to fill in everything, okay? Now in this problem, we're also going to find... Uh, the coordinates for the foci, okay? Uh, so we're also going to do that. And just to give you a heads up, right? It's always going to lie on the major axis, okay? So it's always going to be on this axis here. And just to give you a heads up, right? Uh, as a approximation, it's going to be somewhere in here, okay? Uh, those two foci are going to be somewhere in here, okay? I need to plug my computer in so I don't lose this video. Okay. We've got some battery juice. All right, H comma K. So that is going to be my center, okay? And it's going to be located at five comma uh, negative two. Okay, so five comma negative two, all right? Um, so that's going to be my center. I'm going to replace it here with my H and K. So this one's easy, right? This one's positive. So you just erase H and write five. Okay, but my K is negative, right? It is at negative two. Okay, so that's when you're gonna have to, essentially what you're doing is you're still putting in negative two here, but you've got a double negative. So you gotta change uh, this to a Y plus two. Okay, so we've got Y plus two there. Okay, now for my A and my B. Okay, so for uh, B, all right, doesn't really matter which one you do first, but B is going to be along in here, right? This is my minor axis, okay? Remember, the B is the semi-minor axis, so that's just this length right here. So that is going to be 3. Okay, so I'm going to write 3 in here. And then my uh, semi-minor axis is, uh, sorry, major axis is this right here. Okay, so that is going to be uh, 4 on this particular one. Okay, so there's my uh, A. Okay, now we can uh, condense this a little bit further. Uh, we can actually take care of these, right? This is three squared. Okay, so I'm going to write nine and then four squared. That is going to be 16, okay? And that is the standard form of this equation, okay? If that's all we were looking for, we'd be done, okay? Uh, remember, this is H and K, uh, and then in this particular one, this was B squared, and in this particular one, this was A squared, okay? And again, that depends on which one's your major, which one's your minor, okay? Um, so, there's the standard form of this particular equation, uh, and we are going to now try to find the coordinates of the foci. Okay, now I'm just going to do a quick sketch of this particular ellipse. Okay, there it is. I uh, just want you to understand that these two represent the same thing. Okay, um, now, you've got your center, okay, you've got your A, you've got your B. Okay, the two foci are located, again, approximately here and here, okay? Um, and don't forget about this relationship, okay? This length is also A, okay? I need you to understand that, all right? So that, is, that length is also A, that blue length in there, okay? Uh, and then the C is just this length right here, okay? Just this right here, all right? It's a little bit hard, but we're, I'm going to go ahead and write it in there. Um, it's essentially the length from here to here, okay? Now, in the that second video, okay, um, I just gave you the equation for C, all right? Again, it comes from the Pythagorean theorem, but here it is, 
Okay, so C is equal to the square root A squared minus B squared. Okay, now you know A and you know B, right? Uh, A was 4, okay? This length right here. Uh, B is 3, okay? That length right there, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and find C, okay? This is equal to the square root, okay? A was 4, 4 squared. Uh, minus uh, 3 squared, okay? That's going to be uh, that 4 squared, right? 16. 16 minus 9, 